and her title is The Injustice of Death and she is giving a personal speech on why capital punishment should be abolished. Please welcome Kat. death row 
are subsequently found innocent and exonerated. One in nine. Even more than that are actually believed to be innocent. But their sentences aren't commuted. They're not released. They're not sentenced to life in prison because of procedural grounds. And the problem is only getting worse. You know, the, the emphasis on faster executions, fewer resources for the defense, and an increase in capital cases have led to the inevitable increase of innocent people on death row, which only leads to one conclusion. The execution of innocent people is inevitable. In fact, Supreme Court Justice William Brennan once said that perhaps the bleakest fact of all is not that the death penalty is applied in a freakish and arbitrary manner, but that it's applied to people that are wholly innocent. Now, if I haven't persuaded you to reassess your views of capital punishment at this point, Perhaps a high cost of taking a life will change your mind. In Arkansas, we spend about $650,000 to defend a capital case. That's to defend. That does not include the cost of prosecution. That does not include the cost of sequestering a jury in a high profile case. That does not include the cost of mandatory appeals. In fact, studies have shown that California has spent $4 billion maintaining their death row. In Florida, maintaining death row costs $51 million more per year than housing the same number of inmates for life. And in Texas, the execution capital of the country, a single death row case cost $2.3 million, which is more than three times the cost of housing an inmate in a maximum security facility for life. You know, it's easy for me to stand up here and tell you capital punishment should be abolished. It's a lot harder to do something about it. But we all have that opportunity in here. Last month, the Arkansas Supreme Court ruled that the death penalty, and, or the capital punishment law in Arkansas is unconstitutional. Now, we have legislators clamoring to rewrite this law and spending millions of state tax dollars in the process. Now, I urge you to join me in the fight to abolish capital punishment in Arkansas. If not because it's immoral, and not because it's unjust, then for fiscal belt tightening and reallocation of resources to, to public programs like roads and education, emergency services, and public health services, things that you guys will benefit from. If you don't know your legislature's name, their web address is on the top of the handout. I urge you to find your district and contact them because I can't do it alone. I need your help, and I hope you will join me in the fight to abolish capital punishment in Arkansas.